Hollywood stars, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I'm gonna be doing this beautiful, simple eye, but a pop of color on the lips. So if you wanna know how to achieve this look, if you wanna know what products I used, and the techniques that we use today, then just keep watching. And as always, don't forget to shine bright because it's slow Hollywood time. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I look a little crazy because I just put my bangs up just so they're not on the way. But I wanted to do like a super cute, like easy, breezy, just kidding, but just like an easy, super cute, bold statement look. So I already have most of my face done. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and I'm gonna use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I love this stuff. Also, can we just say I was super inspired by my nails today because they're super cute, like neon vibes, pink vibes. So that's definitely what we're gonna go for today. So I'm basically just going to add this all over. You guys know the drill from the lid and up to the brow bone. Okay, so I'm actually gonna dust off this bake down here because I don't want it to get like super duper white. By the way, today I baked with the Huda Beauty Pound Cake um, setting powder that I've been using lately. And I really like it. I'm just gonna leave the under eyes intact. So today we are going to be using, once again, the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So I've been really trying to use up um, different palettes that I have in my collection because I feel like they're being a little bit neglected. So I was like, you know what? I wanna take out a palette that I haven't used for a long time and just put it in my vanity and use it for like a week straight. So that's my goal for this year. I'm taking my Morphe E412 brush and I'm gonna dig into the musk shade, which is just a nice cool toned brown and we're just gonna be applying this to the crease. So we're gonna be adding this just to warm it up a little bit. I'm next going to take a flat brush and I'm gonna dig into cashmere. This is just like a nice brownie, taupey, shimmery shade. And we're just gonna be adding this to the lid, the entire lid. So from inner corner to outer corner. Such a pretty shade. This is actually the first time I use this shade. Isn't that funny? And this one is actually very creamy. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and dig into this shade right here. This is called Retrograde. It has like a little shift of like a brown and a purple hint to it. Maybe even a little bit of blue, but we're just gonna take a little bit of this. And, oh, I actually think this was a shade that I think didn't really pick up in the last video. So I'm gonna wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And we're gonna go ahead and dig into that shade one more time, retrograde. Okay, let's see if it pops up now. Okay, it looks a little bit better. Just because I want a little bit more dimension to this eye, so it's not just like one shade. Okay, I also wanna add this shade to the inner corner, so that's what we're gonna do now. And then kind of work it out and upwards. I'm next gonna take a clean brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges so they don't look super crazy. And then I'm gonna dig into the Twilight shade which is this beautiful purple iridescent shade. And I'm gonna be adding this right into this inner corner just for some extra added dimension. And finally, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I don't even know how you pronounce it, O-U-D. But we're gonna add a little bit of this to this outer corner for some extra dimension. I keep saying dimension, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to darken it up a little bit. And building it upwards and into the crease. 
and we're only focusing this in the outer V basically, so don't take it any further. So lately, I feel like I've been really trying to do more like softer looks as opposed to doing like cut creases and spotlights and all that stuff. I'm just really trying to go back to my roots, kind of like where I started because I feel like when I first started doing makeup, obviously I didn't know how to do like cut creases and all that. And I would just do a lot of nice blended looks. So that's really what I'm trying to do now. I mean, I'm still gonna do like cut creases and stuff, but I just wanna kind of go back to this for a moment. Let me know down in the comments below if you're loving these blended looks. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more blended looks. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna add a little bit more of Twilight. And I'm just gonna be adding it right up here to the brow bone, just so that there's no empty space. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my little fluffy brush and we're going to dust off this bake down here and any excess product that might have fallen. So one thing with these shadows actually is that you do kind of get a lot of little fallout. I think mainly from the shimmery shades. So um, definitely prepare for that. So add a little bit of baking powder or do your face after your eyes. So now I'm gonna take my smaller blending brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade one more time. It's like a brownie shade. And I'm gonna add this all over um, underneath the lower lash line. Okay, so I really love this shade. I, I don't think I really played around with the shade, but it's kind of like a brownie, purpley, reddish tone. It's so, so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes and do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I added some mascara and I also added some lashes. The lashes that I'm using today are very pretty and they are the MAC 35s. I love them because they look very natural. Um, they are a little bit worn out because I've been wearing them, but I still love them. So if you want some natural lashes, definitely check these out. They're the MAC 35. Okay, and then for blush, I'm gonna dig into my fetish palette. This is by Kat Von D. And I actually just checked um, Sephora yesterday and they still have this palette on sale and for $22. So it's definitely a steal and I really love it. I definitely love the quality of this. So I definitely recommend it. And today we're gonna dig into this purple shade. This is just called um, Cover. Oh, Coven, it's called Coven. So we're gonna dig into this purple shade. And we're just going to add this to the cheeks. Ooh, it's so pretty. For highlight, we're going to take the purple shade right here and just plop it into the skin. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I love the purple we have going on. I'm gonna add a little bit more and I'm adding some of this pink just to give it extra dimension since apparently I like dimension. And finally, for the lips, we are going to take this MAC lipstick, which again was inspired by my nails, and this is in the shade Candy Yum Yum. Mmm, so pretty. And you can totally use a lip liner with this. I just decided to keep it, you know, a little more natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this little guy down because I've been looking like a hot mess. So I decided to just do like cute little things. And then my ponytail has like these really cute waves. These are just like left, I guess like not like leftovers, but like Dailed hair from when I had um, braids, like a braid. So I love the way it looks. It's like puffy, but it has like cute waves in there. And just with my little side bank. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you're enjoying these cute, simple shadow looks. Once again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.